to continue with this project now to add in a site mesh. So we've set up the story settings. Now in the story settings, we're going to go down to the bottom story, the AHD story. And we'd already used some lines to create a boundary. Now because we've got something, whether that's a line or a polyline, it doesn't matter. We can now use that in order to define a boundary. So we're going to use our mesh. We can go into the mesh tool and change some settings first if we want to. We've got three methods. Um, so a top surface only, which used to be called a super fleece, a skirt, so a top with sides, and a solid. We're going to use that solid option. The solid option is great because it allows us to cut into it in order to, and still see the, the earth below, which is generally how it works in real life. These maybe are helpful for other things, but this is great for, for earth, for our terrain. What's the thickness of it? What that really means is how far down does it go below? Uh, it's great to have a little bit of a thickness. It just helps us to grab it later on. The structure of it is called earth. That's good. Uh, the symbol isn't exactly what we want it to be. We can make up our own. I'll leave that for a, a much later date. And we can have this sitting at zero. We can have the, this sit much higher. Generally, I would still keep this sitting at zero. We can change the colors. We can change uh, the pens. We can change the surfaces. But we're not going to do any of that at the moment. We'll just press OK. Now, to draw this, I could draw it using the polygonal method. I could use a rectangular method. So let's just do this. So I could like that or rectangular, two point, or rotated rectangle, two points, and then extruded. But this isn't a rectangular shape. So I'd have to use the polygonal method, or I can just magic one. So that's holding spacebar down, click on this, the shape, and that will draw it automatically for me. Now we couldn't see it very much, it's there, but we can't see it very well. If I click on that, I can go into the settings, and sometimes what I'll do is add a cover fill, normally not grass, normally I'll just make it like a 25% or something, maybe as a green, and usually with a transparent background, just so I can see that it's there. So there's my mesh, and it's just in important or helpful to be able to see the mesh. It's on AHD, so we're never actually going to really look at it, but we want to make sure that we can understand it and adjust it as a three-dimensional model to be able to add the mesh to our site.